the cannabinoids everywhere you look are doing things that are essential for our survival and our survival not only from the point of view of how we got where we are, but where we're going. <laughs> Hi, I'm uh, Dr. Robert Melamy, PhD. I'm a professor at the University of Colorado at Colorado Springs. Um, I was the former chairman of the biology department there and currently in addition to my role as professor I'm also CEO and president of Cannabis Science, a publicly traded company on the NASDAQ bulletin board, CBIS. I was studying free radicals in that I was studying radiation chemistry and DNA repair. So that gave me a foundation to understand free radicals as very important modulators essentially of aging and age-related illnesses, uh, which is really what cannabis does. So by combining my understanding of life from the thermodynamic point of view, far from equilibrium thermodynamic point of view, in conjunction with uh, my expertise in radiation chemistry and free radicals and being a lifelong cannabis user, I've been in a very unique position to assemble those three entities into a cohesive perspective as to what life is and the fundamental role that the endocannabinoid system plays in life and how it modulates a, an imbalance that we all suffer. And people in general are aware that omega-3s are good for you and they inhibit uh, various cardiovascular problems. What most people are not aware of is that they're participatory directly in the endocannabinoid system in that they make a variety of our endocannabinoids and they're part of the uh, bigger picture of lipid metabolism of which endocannabinoid system is kind of a central focal point. So there are numerous benefits from these essential fatty acids that, um, are, that we can help modulate. We can change our biochemistry by our nutritional intake. But going beyond that, there's only certain limitations as to how much you can vary our endocannabinoid activity from that nutritional point of view. So that for many, many, many people with a whole huge spectrum of illnesses ranging from uh, cardiovascular disease, uh, skeletal disease like osteoporosis, uh, cognitive dysfunction from neurological deterioration associated with aging, and literally all the autoimmune diseases and many cancers, they all have free radicals as, a, uh, as part of their etiology. And cannabinoids, be, the, be they the ones we make or the ones we can take in, benefit those. So it's now my position that in order for us to reset our endocannabinoid activity thermostat to lower the damage caused by essentially uh, a degree of unnecessary inflammatory responses, uh, we have to essentially consume cannabis with cannabis being now, from my perspective, an essential nutrient by virtue of how it will turn down inflammatory responses and inhibit the aging process and the uh, negative consequences of age-related illnesses. Nobody dies from being old, they die from age-related illnesses. Very safe and effective medicine that's able to uniquely tap into our endocannabinoid system, which interestingly and ironically regulates everything in our body.